Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today we're going to be showing you the MSI GT70, the high-end version that comes with the NVIDIA GTX 680 mobile video card. If this is your first time looking at an MSI notebook or hearing of the GT series, know that this is the high-end gaming laptop series from MSI. You have the choice of the GT60 and the GT70, main difference being that the GT70 is the larger 17-inch version, and we'll get into some of the smaller differences as we go through the review. Some of the key features that you'll spot on both the GT60 and GT70 is that they both come with the branded Steel Series backlight color changing LED keyboard. Also, they both have the Dyn Audio speaker system, which is pretty much regarded as the best speaker system you can get on a laptop currently. So let's go ahead and start a tour around the unit and point out some of the key features as we get to them. We have a pretty standard touchpad here with left and right clicks. One unique feature is above it, you have a button that would disable the touchpad. This can be useful for people who are gaming or using an external mouse so that you do not accidentally activate your touchpad when you're typing or working with the keyboard. The keyboard itself is a little bit different than most laptop keyboards in that it is a chiclet keyboard but it has a distinctive depressed feel when you press in the keys like similar to a mechanical keyboard. You'll easily spot the large speaker grills on the left and right sides and in between them you're going to find a panel that has touch sensitive keys that you can use to turn on certain features. The turbo fan feature, for example, is an enthusiast feature that you can enable that forces the system fan to cool at 100% speed. This is a way to manually override any software driven speeds and make sure that the system stays as cool as possible. Other handy features up here, you have the ability to turn off and on your Wi-Fi, the ability to turn off your monitor backlight so that you can save power. Also, you have an eject button here so you can eject the optical drive. And you have status LEDs so you can know if caps lock or number lock is on. To take the greatest advantage of the color changing keyboard, you would run the KLM software like we have here. This is a software that can control all the different features of the color changing keyboard. Not only can you choose different colors, but also different shades for each color, and it's split into three main zones. Left, center, and right can all be independently changed. And then in addition to that, not only can you just choose a color, but it also has different modes available such as the breathing effect, the wave effect, and so on. This actually kind of animates all the different color effects and brings the keyboard to life. So this software lets you take something that used to be just a great laptop feature, a keyboard that lights up in the dark, and now incorporate it into something that's more a part of the design and feel of the laptop. Now we'll take a look at the back of the laptop lid. You have an MSI logo in the center. This is not illuminated, but it is highly glossy and you'll take notice of the really awesome black aluminum finish that covers the lid of the laptop. In the closed state, we'll do a quick spin around just so you can get a good feel of what the laptop looks like and its overall dimensions. Now we'll take a close look at the perimeter of the laptop to show you all the interfaces. In the front, you actually only have status LEDs. So this is your handy LEDs to let you know like when you're charging the unit, if the Wi-Fi is on, hard drives being accessed, all those common features. On the right hand side in the very front you have two very convenient USB 2.0 ports. And then just beyond that you're going to have your optical drive. It does have a manual eject button if you need it. Moving to the rear of the laptop, most of your interfaces are here. You have the Kinnickston lock port, the DC input jack so you can charge the unit and run off of mains power, your ethernet for your wired internet, VGA for an external monitor or projector, eSATA for a high speed external storage, and HDMI 1.4 so you can easily connect the laptop to a newer device like an HDTV. On the right hand side you're going to find one of the main exhaust vents with one of the heat sinks right behind it. And then just around the corner is the other one. The system is a single fan but dual heat sink design so that way it cools the GPU and CPU independently and they don't share their heat load. In front of that you have two USB 3.0 ports, and then right next to that a card reader, and then a third and final USB 3.0 port next to that. And then down at the end you're going to find four 3.5 millimeter audio connections. Gold plated you have the headphone output, microphone input, line in and line out. This is actually two additional ports you don't normally find on most laptops that can be very handy depending on your uses for your laptop. Now we're moving into an important part of the segment. This is your performance and benchmarking part where we have the 3D Mark Vantage score up here for you. 
20,757. This is actually very, very high. Breaking the 20,000 mark is incredible, especially for a laptop. And this is thanks due to the NVIDIA GTX 680 Mobile, the very highest card available from NVIDIA currently. It has four gigabytes of RAM built onto the video card itself. And you can see all the core clocks and memory clocks here on the GPU-Z information. This outstanding score was actually acquired on stock frequencies, so you still have room to overclock and get even more performance. One thing to take in the mind before you overclock is looking at your current temperatures. As you can see, we only reached 79 degrees Celsius during that benchmark, meaning we still have room to go before we get to a temperature that makes us feel uncomfortable. Running a newer and yet much more difficult benchmark, 3D Mark 11, we got a performance score of 5,953. Again, while running this benchmark, we did leave everything at the stock frequencies. So this is the score you can expect for an out-of-the-box system. And you can achieve even higher scores if you choose to overclock. In addition to the performance of the CPU and GPU measured in the gaming benchmarks, we also did a speed test on the hard drives. The GT70 comes with a unique feature called Super RAID, where it actually has two MSATA SSDs in a RAID 0 array default. This gives you a lightning fast primary hard drive so that all of your operating system boot times, programs, files, and games all load very quickly. So that you may have a point of reference, this is the ambient temperature in the room and the same temperature that we ran all the benchmarks that we've done so far. Having the ambient temperature in mind is very important when you're reading the temperatures that we gave you earlier on the benchmarks, as a cool room would give you very different results than a hot room. In addition to just giving you the thermal readings from our benchmarks, we're also going to give you external temperatures with an infrared thermometer. This is a good way to test for any heat leaks in the system, or to see if there's any discomfort levels as far as heat that you'd feel in your hands when you're using the laptop. When you see high temperatures near the exhaust, you know the system is working very well and properly getting the heat out of the system and into the air around it. And when you look at where we're pointing near the palm rest or keyboard, those are areas you want to see that are cool. And now for the final segment of our showcase, we're going to go ahead and show you a minor disassembly of the system. Take a look at the bottom and see that we have no shortage of vents that allow the cool air to get into the system for cooling the system. You do see the underbody subwoofer. This is part of why the sound system sounds so great on this laptop. Now one of the great things MSI has done is they give you just a single bay door that you have to remove to get access to the system inside. Once inside, you have very easy user access to two RAM slots. Your secondary storage hard drive is here at the bottom. You have the heatsink to the fan for cooling the CPU. The other heatsink goes to the GPU. And then here is your primary hard drive, the Super RAID setup with two of the MSATA SSDs in RAID 0. These are dual memory MS701 SSDs, or are actually one of the highest rated out right now for the MSATA. So that means out of the box, you can expect one of the fastest loading systems on the market. And that will conclude our showcase of the MSI GT70 that comes equipped with the NVIDIA GTX 680 mobile video card. If you'd like to seek out further information on this unit, such as current pricing and availability, just check out our website, gentechpc.com, where we have all that information and more. If you have any personalized questions that you need help with, then feel free to contact us by phone or email, and we'll be more than happy to help you with that. So we hope you enjoyed this showcase of the MSI GT70. And once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.